I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And we are going to be learning something new every hour for 24 hours. Well, at least as much as we can learn. Yes. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Google Career Certificates. All right, so we're gonna be learning how to ride a unicycle. And our dad is going to teach us because he knows how to ride a unicycle. Wow. wow. Whoa. In order to get on it, pedal backwards just a little bit and then put your foot up at the same time. I got it. I got just, it. Okay. I'll hold on to you. I, I got it. I'm He's doing it. it. Okay, just go really slow. Just keep equal pressure on the, if you fall, let the unicycle go. Don't try to just save yourself, all right? Ah! Uh, save yourselves! Pedal just a little bit. And go, oh, hey, ho, ha, ha. Hey, God. Okay, pedal nice and slow, don't we? <laughs> this feels so weird. Listen. Okay. Listen. <laughs> what? Keep it underneath. <laughs> hey, oh, you're bad. No, lean forward, lean forward. There you go. And you want me to let go of you, or you want to try that? Forward, right? Lean forward. See? I'm getting a feel for it. I'm Just getting a feel. Back and forth. Back and forth. Good. So you, <laughs> you want to you want to let your sister try it out? Yeah, so you should okay. at least. Put up. Okay, there you go. You got it. You got it. Wow. Oh. There you go. <laughs> First time playing. You, you. Oh, there you go. Okay, don't get so excited that you. <laughs> Just try. Try. I am trying. Try. It. Try to just pedal a little bit and stop yourself. Get a feel for it. <gasps> oh, 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 you did it, Ronnie. <laughs> you're doing it like you're doing you, it. You are doing it. There you go. to the next thing that we are going to learn. The next skill we are going to learn is digital marketing and e-commerce. What we're about to show you guys is something awesome and so cool and could potentially have a major positive impact on your professional career. Google Career Certificates can help you get on the fast track to in-demand jobs without any experience or college degree. We know that a lot of you guys are struggling right now and feel confused about your career, which is why we feel so passionate about Google Career Certificates. It's perfect for people like me and Ronnie where we didn't finish college, but we want to gain experience. That's why we're gonna be taking a course so we can get our digital marketing and e-commerce certificate. So Google recently launched the Google Digital Marketing and e-commerce certificate which focuses on the skills that employers are hiring for. So we're going to be learning about email marketing skills, marketing analytics, engaging with customers, and designing and running an online store. Which is actually so perfect for us right now because we're working on a little secret project that we'll definitely need these skills for. So we're going to get a certificate from Google, which makes us pretty legit in my opinion. Oh yeah. <laughs> there are also certificates that you can get in the job fields of IT support, data analytics, project management, and user experience design. These certificates are taught and developed by Google employees who are experts in those fields. I think the coolest thing is that you can complete the courses on your own time in like under six months at your own pace. You could do it really, really fast or at a, just a pace that is good for you. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to do all of this in just an hour. <laughs> so if you're thinking about turning a hobby of yours into a career, like selling stuff online, uh, this digital marketing and e-commerce certificate sounds like it could be for you. 
Google Career Certificates can help you stand out to top employers. It can also make your resume competitive with a credential from Google. With Google Career Certificates, you can complete the online program on your own terms for $39 a month. Once again, no experience is necessary. You can learn job-ready skills without relevant experience. Exactly, and you can build on the skills that you already know and have. When you complete the program and get your certificate, you can connect directly with more than 150 employers who are hiring. So that means you could potentially find a job. A cool fact is that 75% of the program graduates have said that they have had a positive impact on their careers, like a new job, a new career, a raise, or a promotion within six months of completing the certificate. You can learn more and enroll now at grow.google Google slash certificates. We've already told so many of our friends about Google Career Certificates and we know that it's gonna help so many people and maybe potentially you. Again, it's grow.google slash certificates. You can also click the link in the description below. Thank you Google Career Certificates for providing opportunities for people who need it. And thanks for sponsoring this video. Now we're going to learn how to make origami. And we've got Aaron Burris going to teach us. He always makes me a, a swan. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. You're gonna learn them how to make the swan? Oh, yay! Yeah. Take two corners oh. and bring them together. Got uh -huh. a triangle. Got a triangle. Open it back up. Oh. Okay. And make it a hot dog. Please. I didn't, I, I missed it. Wait, what are we I'm doing? Sorry, I'm sorry. Whoa, wait, what'd you just do? So, <laughs> yeah. so here, you open it back up. Okay, you're gonna grab this corner right here. Maybe this corner mm -hmm. for you. There. And then for, imagine this is a small square and you're gonna fold this here, like that. I see, like this. this. Okay, okay, I got it, I got there it, go. like that. Now take this corner and bring it down right there. So it's gonna be like that. So you should end up with this. It's like a dragon. What did I do wrong? Wait. Okay, hold on. okay. Let me catch back okay. up. Dragon. Dragon. I don't see boom. a dragon. I want a new teacher. Okay, so, <laughs> so this, boom. Like that, then you're gonna take this right here, put your mm -hmm. hand in this little flap, and then bring it out like that. And then you should end up with a mini square. Okay. Okay, so it's mine good? Yeah. This one? So you wanna have your solid point up top. Okay. Take your side and fold it toward the middle like that. I ripped my paper. It's okay. It adds character to your swan. My paper's ripping. You're doing great, honey. So flip it over like this, and boom, and you're gonna do a complete mirror. Something's wrong with mine. No, it's working. It'll work out. You're gonna take your top triangle here uh -huh. and fold it over. Open it back up. Okay. Open your doors. Lift this bottom piece, but keep this crease that you created. And open it up. The heck? Oh, Aaron, like I did that wrong. I did it! Oh, oh. I did it! Oh. Look at me, I made the boat! Flip the other side over. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay. I did it. You I should did end it. up with a diamond. I got a diamond. You're going to take the end and you're going to fold it in. Again? Mm -hmm. You got it. Just fold it toward the middle. And you're going to do that exact same action on the opposite side. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So you have thin legs. And you can do walk. Next part is really easy. Open it up like this. Whoa. Okay. So open it up. It's where you want it to be like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna reverse the fold and you're gonna get your Wait. swan. I Wait, I messed up. I missed Wait, a, what I did missed you do? It. And then you see where that crease is? Uh -huh. You're gonna fold it up right here and then close it up like so. And we do it to both sides? Yes. I did it. There you go. Now you're gonna wanna flatten it. Mine looks bad. It looks great. Mine does not look like yours. You look, good job. Mine. And then take the head here. Is that the head? Yeah, whichever side you want to be the head. And you fold it and set out like that. Okay. Mine's so messed up, I can't even do that last step. You can. Step, okay? You're gonna open up the wings right here. And there's a mini hole at the bottom. There you go. A hole? Look at my swan. It's working, see, there you go. Mine doesn't Ta -da. stand. Yours, yours looks good. Yours is so perfect and beautiful. Well, I've done this. I've done this like over a thousand times. We made swans. If I were to give you guys grades, I would give Nessa an A. Wow, good job, Nessa. And what about me? The next skill we are going to learn is 
How to juggle. We got our amazing teacher again, Aaron Burris. Wow. This is going to be really hard to teach you guys how to do. Really? Yeah. Let me show you what I know and then you can assess. Okay, we're gonna start off with two balls. Okay. All you have to do is toss one in the air and toss one over. Da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh! I can't even do that. Wait. There you go. Oh. You have to give yourself some. Up, over. But I just up, over. You gotta do it at the same time. Oh, I'm doing it. Yeah. Aaron. Okay, you're doing it. And Ness is getting close, sir. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Really, just try one ball. Just do one ball, okay? Without moving. So just get used to tossing it back and forth like this. Just one ball. There you go. There you go. There you go, Ronnie. This is all confidence. Just adding the third one seems impossible. You know, just try three. Maybe you're just naturally good at doing three. Yours is gonna be one ball in the air and one always in your hands. So you're continuously just tossing it in the air. Okay. Okay. So if you want, you don't have to go that high either, Ronnie. So up, up, up. Oh! oh you almost had it! Let me get Jonathan to see your skills. Alright, we're gonna show you our skills. You're the teacher, right? Oh, whoa. Super easy. There you go, two balls. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I don't think I can juggle at all, so. Oh my ah! god! You did it! Ah! You did it on one circuit! He almost and I caught it! <laughs> Assist! Okay, so toss. Oh, I almost oh, But you're getting like. Ah! Yeah. Hey, oh! That was pretty good. You just gotta. The toss has to be like just Wait, up in the air. Yeah. I don't have it. Ah! Yeah, see, he's getting it. He's getting it. Up, up. We've been doing this for almost an hour now, and we've learned that if you say hey. I have developed a patented humming technique because for some reason it helps me keep track of the balls. Uh, 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 <gasps> oh! Hey! Okay, my turn. Uh, heh, heh, heh. Oh, that, was, that was good. Right, Ronnie, your turn. Heh, heh. Heh, 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 My fingers hurt. Now we're going to be trying to make latte art. What do you want to try first? The um, I want to try the steamed milk and trying to make a design in the steamed milk. I think that is easy, simple. Oh, oh, that looks easy. That looks super easy. A tulip. tulip. Okay, so steam. We're going to steam the milk. Where did you? <laughs> I've seen this in movies. Movies. They hit it. Pour in the middle. The milk will go into the espresso, but the crema will stay on top to create a layer. Okay. Oh, oh, now you start oh, creating your design. I'm creating the design. Pop at an angle. It's the design. <laughs> That's. Wait. I thought you were supposed to do oh. the tulip. Well, I didn't know how to do the tulip. I think it was too much milk. <gasps> It's a happy cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, here she goes. Okay, now where's the crema? It stopped pouring. There you go. It. Uh, it's a snowman. <laughs> a snowman. That's not the tulip. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's a snowman. With his little buttons. What a frothy! Fail. Frothy! Frothy! The snowman. The cup is around two thirds full. Stop pouring. Okay. That's not it. Uh huh. What? I think we're making it too hot. So we must be doing something wrong. Okay, then 130. Okay, my turn. I'm zigzagging. The heck? You don't have any froth. There's no froth. A Try a stencil. A stencil. What? <laughs> Just the 
foam. It's coming. There, it's right there. The foam is like. Yeah. <gasps> there. It's, it's a, a music a, note on a, a grand staff. It's a scorpion. No. <laughs> and that, lady and gentlemen, and that, everyone, is latte art. Okay, Whoa, okay. this was a fail. All right, so the next thing we're going to be learning how to do is driving a stick shift car. We've got the one and only Paul Merrill, our dad, teaching Hello. us how to drive. Okay, so who's gonna go first? You are. Me? Yes. So, Vanessa, there are three pedals on the floor instead of just two. This car has gas, brake, clutch. So in order to engage or put the car in gear, you have to push the clutch in. Keep your foot on the brake. All right, put it into first gear all the way forward. And then this is the emergency <gasps> brake. It's down now. So, so I don't what, understand. Listen to me. So what you have to do is foot on the brake, clutch all the way in. Give the car a little bit, give the car a little bit of gas and then start letting out on the clutch until it comes all the way out and the car will go. So it's like this ebb and flow. You'll feel this tension of the clutch starting to engage and you want to give the get the car enough gas so it doesn't doesn't stall. No. Okay. Was I supposed to be listening to all of that too? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so okay. All, all I want you to do, I don't want you to drive, I just want you to start letting it on the clutch and just give it a little bit. Oh, wait, okay, so let go my foot brake yeah, off, off the foot. Yes, foot off the brake, <laughs> let go, and, and start letting the clutch out just a little bit until you feel the car starting to move. Keep going, it's a long way, it's a long way to the top. There you go. Moving. Start giving it a little gas, and then let, now push the clutch back. Oh my god, oh my push, god. Push the clutch oh in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. <laughs> what just happened? Why is the car off? <laughs> you, <laughs> you stalled the car. Okay. Now, start to release the clutch slowly, slowly. And I'll tell you when to push it back in. You're gonna start rolling, keep going. Now you start rolling. See uh -huh. how you can feel that? Now yeah. stop, push it back in. Oh. See how you did that? So, so now do that again. You're just rolling getting- Rolling backwards, we're rolling backwards. Okay, so now you know how to, you know what the clutch feels like as you're letting out. You can feel the car start to move as you let out. So, so when do I the, press on the brake? I mean, on the- On the, the gas. gas so on the, you start pressing on the gas as you feel it, as you feel the car start to move. So let's try it, let's try that. Start giving it some gas. Now let the clutch out all the way, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More gas, more gas. Now push the clutch in, push the clutch back in, and stop. That's all I wanted you to do. <laughs> so all we're gonna do is just get started and then stop. I want you to get used to pushing the clutch in every time you have to stop, okay? Too much gas, there we go. Okay, drive just a little bit. All right, so now push the clutch in. Push the clutch in and stop. All the way to the floor. There you go. Let's feel how the car disengaged. <gasps> you did so good, Nessa! Okay, so now let's try it. Let's try going oh. again. Go on, you gotta actually shift gears. So now, Vanessa, listen to me. I don't so know now if I want to shift gears. You're shift gonna have gears. to. That's how that's the only way you can drive a manual. Letting go. Uh oh. Oh. You gotta kinda oh. do it quick. Oh. Let the, now give it some gas. That's too much gas. There you go. Alright, good job. Okay. So now give it a little gas. You ready to push the clutch in? Push the clutch in. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Okay, neck and again. Push no, the clutch in. I don't want to do it again. Okay, you can do it. Push the clutch in. Shift to second. You have to let off the gas, all right? Now let's clutch back in. Okay. Now push it back into first. Okay, now let the clutch in. <laughs> let the clutch out. I'm sorry. Okay. It's confusing. Now, okay, now shift gears. Okay. Give okay. it some gas. Now shift. Now let on the clutch. There you go. Okay. All right, that's very good. Now slow down. Oh, slow down. Now put it back into first. There you go. Let on. <laughs> you gotta let on the clutch slow, all right? Shift again, get ready. Oh. <laughs> push the clutch in, push the clutch in. All the way, Nessa, put clutch. I'm in the way. I'm in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the gas and the clutch, nice and smooth. <laughs> Ease out on the clutch. Easy, now give it a little gas, it's good. Good job. Good job, now give it plenty of gas, we're gonna shift in a second. Now shift in a second. Let out on the clutch, nice and smooth. Now shift, shift in a second. See how you feel the motor rev up 
You did good. Okay, push the clutch in and stop. Okay, so you see the three pedals down there, right? Brake, gas, mm -hmm. and clutch. So push the clutch in just with so you- With my left foot or with my With your right? left foot. Left. So when you drive an automatic, you feel the car shift, right? Birds. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> All I want you to do is just take your foot off the brake and start letting out on the clutch. Don't give it any gas. So I lift my feet up at the same time. <laughs> Like this, no. Start to let on the clutch, and then once you feel the car starting to move, then let off the brake. Okay, okay you don't need the to be foot nervous. is off the brake. Okay, start letting out on the clutch at the same time. Just let out the clutch. I put my foot back on the brake. <laughs> I push, push it in, push the clutch in. There you go. <laughs> is as you feel the car start to move, you're gonna give it plenty of gas, not a ton, but plenty of gas, just a little bit of gas to, to get it to start moving. Let off, <laughs> let off the foot off the brake. <laughs> I guess. So not that much gas. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little gas. Too much. Too much. Too much. There you go. Okay, Just go. Go, go, go. Okay. Put it all the way out. Off clutch the clutch? Yeah. There you go. Now push the clutch in and stop. Push the clutch wait, in. No, wait, push the clutch wait, in. Where? Push the clutch in. I did it. You did do it. Faster, faster, faster. It's nice and smooth. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So now, Seems push like the clutch in, stay in the middle of the road, push the clutch in all the way to the floor, all the way to the floor. There you go. Good job. Let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Give it a little gas. See how it almost stalled, but you saved it. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, you're going to want to push the clutch back in, put it back into first. Now, let out the clutch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? That was too quick. That was too quick. <laughs> Give it a little gas. Take a Good job. There. Now, shift. Put your off the gas. Give it, give it. So clutch in, downshift, let out slowly and smoothly. There you go, let the clutch out. Ooh, too fast. <laughs> First, now let out the clutch. <laughs> well, actually, not too bad. You want to do it again? No! Okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, think... I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm shaking, my foot is shaking from being scared. I think you, mostly learn, at least you learn how to like the drive basics. the car, the basics. Good job, Nessa, we learned something new. All right, so now we're going to learn how to sew. So today we're going to make our dogs some shirts. This looks like a map. Pin pattern using corresponding fabric, cut out sections, transfer markings. Oh, I found the collar in the shirt. Great job, Nessa, now cut it out. Okay, so we have our models with us. We've got Tiger and Guppy, and so now we're going to measure Tiger to see what size he is. A large. large. I think a large. Large might be best for Guppy. So now we just need to cut it out like a stencil. So now we're going to sew. Guys, it worked! certificates for sponsoring this video and thanks for watching subscribe to our channel check out some of the other videos we've done and we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.